I'm John Cole. I'm the director of the Center for the Book in the Library of Congress, which is the part of the library that promotes books, reading, literacy, and libraries. And in this display and in this exhibit, Books That Shaped America, uh, we have selected with a small s, chosen for the time being, is another way of looking at it, books that in the view of Library of Congress staff members, uh, many were asked through by our committee, and I was a part of this committee, being head of the Center for the Book, uh, what they felt were the significant books that had helped shape America through the years. There are some obvious ones. Moby Dick is here, Huckleberry Finn, some of the traditional ones which were influential historically but also have a lasting influence in maybe a genre or influencing writers. Kind of surprising choices was actually Carl Sagan's Cosmos. It's a book that reached great popularity and which it really means it reached a new audience and introduced science, maybe and the cosmos to new audiences. Now you'll hear some of the secrets. We had some poets that we knew we wanted to find a place for. So Emily Dickinson's is, is represented by a collection in the Rare Book Press collection, and this beautiful handcrafted edition, which actually came in a large box with other fine arts kinds of uh, representations. Uh, is something that we felt was unusual enough to uh, be on display. We also did include drama. Somebody at, towards the end of the process said, what plays have we included? And plays certainly reach huge audiences and are important. So over in this case, we took Our Town uh, by Thornton Wilder. And here, kind of here's the rationale. It's among the most performed plays of the 20th century. Uh, next to it, is a book from the Federal Writers Project. And I have to say that um, I favored this one and in the end I loaned it to the exhibit from, this is my personal copy. Uh, I'm a collector of uh, the state guides that were produced by the WPA in the 30s and the 40s and into the early 50s. And, but Idaho was the very first one. There's one of these for each state. And this is Idaho a guide in word and pictures, which is a beautiful edition, uh, for which I paid a couple hundred dollars. And we also shouldn't forget children's books. This is Charlotte's Web by E.B. White, and it was difficult in this instance to sort of choose uh, an E.B. White book. Personally, I favored Stuart Little, but I was voted down, and it just happens to be the one I remember. Uh, but Charlotte's Web, of course, is the one that I think many other people remember, and our citation says it's the best-selling paperback for children of all time, so if that's true, no wonder it's in a Library of Congress exhibit.